Hi there, I'm Brenda Henderson, patriot, lover of freedom, and mother to Aiden, Braden, and Traden. So you may have heard some liberal snowflakes talking about something called UBI, or Universal Basic Income. <laughs> it's basically the idea that the government should give money to every goddamn freeloading hippie in the US simply for being alive. Ew. There are a lot of reasons that the very idea of this sickens me as an American. Like if people didn't have to work for their basic needs, wouldn't everyone just stop working? I mean, hello? Well, I looked into it, and despite a lot of liberal sniveling about helping the poor and underprivileged minorities, ugh, I actually found some reasons that really spoke to me. So here are the top five conservative approved reasons for universal basic income. Okay, so like the obvious problem, wouldn't everyone just stop working? Well, trials of UBI have shown that certain amount of people do reduce their work hours, mostly moms and teens in high school, but very few people drop out of the workforce entirely. What this means for me, less shitty customer service. The worst workers are always people who are just show up because they have to and do just enough work to not get fired. Try dealing with that at 6 p.m. on a Friday with three kids in the car. I'm just trying to get home and here I am talking to your manager. Oh, and it's not just a target either. No, it happens at my job too. The woman in accounting who is so stressed out and anxious about her work that she just keeps making mistakes and that she's crying at her desk and you have to pretend to feel sorry for her even though this happens every Monday. Susan, you should not be working here. Which brings me to my next point. UBI would make it easier to fire people. Look, if you've ever owned your own business, you know, some people are just shitty at their jobs and they should be fired. But oh, you can't do that because they're a single parent and their kid is sick or whatever. They lose their paycheck, oh, they'll, they'll like die or something, oh boo hoo. Well, if everybody had a safety net, then you could fire bad workers without feeling the least bit guilty allowing more competent people to take their place. And that, my friends, is called a meritocracy. Speaking of feeling guilty, less guilt over not giving to charities. Oh my God. Charities are always whining for my hard-earned money. Oh, save the children, feed the homeless. Okay, well, if everyone was given enough money for their basic food and shelter and they mysteriously run out of it, well, that's not really my problem. You were given the money and you mishandled it, my conscience is clean. Oh, here's a good one. Less bullshit bureaucracy. There are so many of these damn programs. CHIP, SNAP, WIC, HOPE, the Department of Sad Seniors in Wheelchairs. Ugh. They all have different policies and different staff and budgets. So we're spending all of this taxpayer money on these programs that are totally inefficient and even more money to try and prove whether or not these people are on drugs or using the money inappropriately. And I'm kind of like, who cares? Some people are just shitty. And why spend millions of dollars trying to prove who is and who isn't shitty? Just give everyone the same amount and then if they blow it, well, they blew it. Hashtag not my problem. And the number one reason that universal basic income should be done in America, and I know this isn't like PC or whatever, and some people are gonna get offended, but it has to be said. Homeless people are annoying. That's right, I said it. They're always out in the streets panhandling, stinking like piss and cigarettes, and then they want me to give them my money? Like I work hard and I wanna be able to walk from my condo to my Lexus without being accosted by some drunkard demanding my change. And then if you say no, everyone's like, oh my God, you were so mean to that poor man. Please, okay? Like, is anyone thinking about my feelings? Well, if everyone was given enough money to live, then he could go and get drunk and stink like piss in the comfort of his own home and leave me alone. I mean, I'm sure there would still be some homeless people, but the important thing is you wouldn't have to feel sorry for them. This is actually genius. I think we should do it. Like sure, there's probably still gonna be some problems and adjustments and whatever, but it would make things better for me and I like that. God bless America. The Brenda Henderson voice kills my, my vocal cords. I'm, I'm shredded now. Thank you very much for watching my silly video. I hope you found it entertaining. I have a Patreon over um, at patreon.com, obviously. 
and uh, you can go and pledge one dollar a month to keep this channel going and I, I'd really appreciate <clears throat> I'd really appreciate your support I'm gonna go have some tea have a great day everybody <laughs>